This F-150 is one sharp looking vehicle. The owner dropped it off asking me to get it looking like the day she had purchased it. I will admit this is one of the cleaner vehicles that I've ever seen, so it's going to be a relaxing detail. I hope you enjoy. Now before I get to use my updated Bissell Spot Clean Pro, I gotta make sure I get these carpets vacuumed or it's gonna plug the thing up. Now one thing that was a little frustrating about this detail was the fact that the owner had all weather floor mats as you saw in the before shots, but they had them in the back for I don't know what reason, and you can see that these carpets got completely filthy, whereas the WeatherTech floor mats would have kept them completely clean. So I had to spend a little more time vacuuming, and you'll see when I use the Tornador that I just kick up a ton of dust. All right, now I get to extract. You can see I got my new Bissell in. Obviously, that's the old one. Uh, you'll notice one big difference right away. I noticed the black hose uh, for the suction compared to this clear hose. Now, one thing, this hose is a lot sturdier. This one, very flimsy. Mm, hopefully, it uh, lasts as long as this one did. Um, where this one struggled... This hole was cracked way up here on the end, and then the end broke off, the head broke off of it. Um, up, let me show you on the new one. It broke off right here, and if I take this apart, let me get this set up so I can show you. Where it did break was right here. This whole part of plastic broke right off inside the head. So it wasn't like, oh, I could just take the old head off and put the new one on. I don't like how this piece goes into this one. I think it should be the other way around myself. But, you know, that's the engineer's job. My job is just to do the detailing. Okay, so brand new. We'll see. This hose looks like it could kink. Um, doesn't feel as solid. feels a little longer. It's a lot more... You know, it's got a lot more mobility to it. It bends a lot easier, but that could be good or it could be bad. We'll see how it goes. I tell you what, I probably should have replaced that old Bissell a long time ago. Uh, maybe that little crack in the hose that I thought I repaired up here at the end was causing more loss in suction than I thought. And maybe the uh, motor itself was kind of weak as well because this thing, this carpet that I just did, it sure seemed like it sucked out a lot more moisture than what I was used to. I mean, Ford carpet is pretty good too, but boy, it sure seemed like when that thing was pulling out that liquid, you could just, I could feel it almost. The minute you'd put that head down onto the carpet, it would just kind of pull and extract. And boy, what a difference that uh, this new machine made. But I will say, if this one ever breaks, I am switching to the Mighty. I'm just, I, I'm not gonna do another, a third one. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. I won't get fooled again. Now it's time to get this trim cleaned up. And since it's fairly dirty, I'm gonna use my CarPro Inside Cleaner. It's a little stronger than my P&S Express, 
Then I'm gonna use my Scrub Ninja pad here, get it agitated really good and wipe it up with a microfiber cloth. Now I'll get all the plastic and vinyl surfaces treated with my 303 Aerospace Protectant to leave it looking soft and supple. Now I'm going to tackle these all-weather floor mats the owner had stored in the back. They were covered in dust, they were pretty filthy. I'm going to use some super clean, get them scrubbed up really good with my drill brush. Then I'm going to take them outside and rinse them off. Instead of using a bunch of microfiber towels, I pull out the old toothbrush and super clean, get in those tight grooves. But as I dry it off, you'll notice that it is kind of faded in places, still looks a little dirty and I'll finish it off with my uh, Koch Chemi Gummy Fix and it'll leave them looking brand new. I'll finish off this detail by getting these windows looking streak free. Here's your little reminder to go on down and hit that like button. Alright, this Ford cleaned up spectacularly well.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go on down, smash that like button, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.